Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing and a review on this Bissell Little Green Pro Heat Pet carpet cleaner. This is the red model and it's model number 25134. So this is a portable carpet cleaner that you can take to the spot to clean it. Now you do have to plug it in, but we do have a little bit of assembly first. I'm gonna show you how to put it together and then I'm gonna explain the different attachments, how to add solution and how the heat works. Okay, so here's the two different attachments. Here's the solution. Now let's put all the brackets on. Now in the very front here is where the first bracket goes. Find this bracket. This is going to slide up from the bottom and you'll hear it click. Now you don't need any tools to do this. There, it clicks into place. Now let's turn it around the back. Okay, around back, you're gonna find this is the cord wrap tool. It angles off to the left here. You're gonna put it in until it snaps. There. Now let's find this is the hose tool. Again, it's going to angle off to the outside. Push it until it clicks. This is the hose attachment tool. The, this part is up. Push it in and it'll click into place. This is for storing the different attachments. So you can simply just store it on there. This is the cord wrap. We can wrap the cord around. So you can wrap the cord around and at the very top, when you get it all wrapped on and, and for quick access, just rotate this. Then you can take the whole cord off and unwind it. The cord is 15 feet long and it is three, it's a three prong cord. Now it does use 120 volts, 60 Hertz, 2.3 amps. Here's what the bottom of the machine looks like. Here's like we haven't, this is where the motor is. Okay. Let's explain the machine. It's very simple to operate. It's got a switch here on or off. We got a dirty water tank and a clean water tank. And when the, when the switch is on, you're going to have suction and you'll have pressurized solution coming out this when you pull this trigger. It's going to come out under pressure because there's a water pump in there. So here's the first nozzle you can put on. Simply just click it into place. When I press the trigger, we'll get solution come out here under pressure. And here's where my suction is. You can take this apart for easy cleaning. It just slides out and then slide it back in and then take this off. Press this little button right here to pull that off. Now this is the stain trapper. Again, you're gonna put it on the end of the hose. When I press the trigger, I'll get solution coming out really at the front here. And now here's where my suction is and I have a brush and I can really scrub. Now how this is different is whatever it sucks up, now it has to be like wet material. Whatever it sucks up is gonna stay in this little chamber. It doesn't go down the hose, potentially causing your hose to get really dirty. So let's say your pet makes a mess and you wanna clean it up. This is a great tool because the, the mess is going to stay here and not go down the entire hose and you have to clean out a lot more. So once this fills up, rotate this little bucket off. You can take this over the sink, clean it out. You can take this off, take this over to the sink, get this all nice and clean. Again, there's a little scrub brush there. And even this part comes off for easy cleaning. And then one last thing, this hose clean tool. I like that it attaches to the hose. That's how you're going to store it. But when you want to use it at the end of the job, you're going to simply take your attachment off, put this on, it clicks into place, turn the machine on. Now, when I press the trigger, solution is going to be directed down the hose to clean the hose, let it air dry a little bit. And what I like to do one more thing is I like to take this off, leave the machine on and let this air dry. When you take this off, you get a lot more uh, airflow through the hose to help it clean more. Okay, let's talk about the dirty water tank. This is where all the dirty water is gonna go. Simply just rotate it out and pull up. You're gonna take this little plunger, rotate it off. That's how you empty it out most of the times. But once in a while, you can take this nut off to help clean it. So unscrew this nut. We can take this out, get the tank all nice and clean, look for obstructions here, make sure nothing's good. And then there's a little detent here. That's how you're gonna put this back in. Line up that detent and screw the nut down. Now, when you get the emptied out, simply just rotate it and it'll click into place. Here's the clean water tank. Now, again, they call this a pro heat because of this right here. Now, you're gonna put hot water in here from your uh, sink over there. The machine doesn't heat the water. It maintains the temperature you put in here. So if I put hot water from the tap over there, it's gonna direct hot air from the machine out these ports and it's gonna be directed here to help heat or keep the water warm that's in the tank. It, again, it doesn't circulate it into a warm pump. It doesn't have a heat pump or anything in there. It just uses hot air, 
being directed onto the tank to keep the water hot. Now, does that work? It's not super efficient. Um, I found that, you know, if you're gonna put hot water in here from the tap, that usually is what works really the best. Okay, so we have different lines on here. Again, you can put hot water. I filled it up to the hot the water line, and then from the water line to the formula line, this is where I'm gonna put this. This is the spot and stain. This is actual formula. It's for portable carpet cleaners. The Oxy Boost is an additive. You're supposed to add to formula. So, and I, if I wanna do a small area, which I recommend, because you're gonna to wanna to put hot water in here each time. So if you don't have a really big area, otherwise this water will cool down. So let's put the spot and stain from the water line to the next line. Then we're gonna add one ounce of boost, which that can be a little hard to measure. I like to just give it a dab of boost. This is an eight ounce bottle. So there, in theory, there would be eight one ounces in here. So just give it like a dab. Okay, there's the boost. Make sure you put this on nice and tight. And again, here we have the water, the little nice little handle. Put it in at an angle, rotate it, and you'll hear it click. Okay, so let's see how it cleans some carpet stains. Now you're gonna see me, when I press this trigger, solution and water are gonna come out under pressure right here. I'm gonna spray this, the stain really good, and then I will even be spraying it while I'm uh, scrubbing it with the scrub brush, and at the end, I'll stop spraying and then just use suction only to help dry it. So first, let's do the chocolate mess with the stain trapper tool. Let's pretend that's a pet mess. All right, there comes the solution out. I'll go ahead and soak these two just to get them started. Okay, let's go ahead and start cleaning and I'm spraying. Again, all the material went into here. I do find I use a little bit more solution when I've got the stain trapper tool on. Okay. Now I'm doing, I'm drying only. There's where everything went. So now I can take this off. We didn't get a whole lot, you know, we didn't get a whole lot go down the hose. The majority of it is here. I can take this over to the sink, get this all nice and clean. Let's put the hose rinse tool on. Again, you're gonna put it on, press the trigger. It's gonna direct solution down the hose and clean it. When I'm all done, I'll take it off to help dry it. Okay, let's put this tool on. There's the stain trapper tool. Now we're gonna clean up these muddy paw prints and this spilt wine. Again, spray. The solution's gonna come out here now. All right, I'm scrubbing and spraying. It's a good grip. I can get a lot of force on the scrubbing. Now I'm drying only. I'm not spraying the trigger. All right, let's go to the spilt wine. A little hard to see. It kind of soaked into the carpet. Now I'm dry only. Let's go over this pet mess one last time. Dry only. Let's get a paper towel. Let's give it a paper towel test. Let's see exactly. It's a little damp where the bigger mess was. You know, it's relatively clean though. I do have a little bit left here where that chocolate syrup was. So I might go over it a little bit more with this tool here. But it did a really good job. Now, if you ever wanna just say, you know, this has chemical in it, if you ever want to just rinse it, you can put just water in here. So when you're all done, if you don't want the chemical and the water on your carpet, you can take, you can dump this out or maybe just use a small batch. That way you pretty much use it all. And then you can fill this up with just water. And then you can kind of rinse that whole carpet area. It's very easy, very lightweight, portable to use. Again, I can take this tool off. Let's do a hose clean. All 
All right, when I'm all done, take the dirty water tank. Again, there's all the dirty water. Take it over to the sink, open this up right here. You can dump it out, rinse it out. I could even take this nut off the bottom and get it all nice and clean. I like that we can open up the tank and get it nice and clean. Clean water tank, wrap the cord up on the back, store the tools, super convenient to use. Okay, so this red one cost $109 off of Amazon. They're coming out with so many different colors. They've got a purple one, it's exactly the same. Tools are the same. What you'll find is sometimes like the blue one and different ones, they come with different tools. The machines are exactly the same. A little deceiving in my opinion. You know, it makes you think that they're different, but a lot of times they'll put like a different color and they'll throw in a different tool. So there's like two or three tools that you can have come with this. This one's actually a pretty good tool. Um, and again, the Pro Heat, Bissell Hoover, they typically use this a lot. They use machine hot air to heat things. So you'll, you'll see the word heat in a lot of different carpet cleaners, portable carpet cleaners. This does not have a pump or a heater inside it that actually heats the water. Um, so, you know, like this solution in here that's right now, it's gonna cool down. And when I use this Nix, I can leave that solution in there. You know, if you leave it in there for a year, it could start to kind of get moldy and stuff. But I can leave that in there, but the next time I go use it, it's gonna be cold. So, a little tricky there and how that's being displayed. But it, don't let that take away from it actually being a good cleaner. It actually does do a good job cleaning. If you can put hot water in it, it does an even better job. Um, again, I got, I'm gonna do a comparison with the purple one. So many different, I think they're up to five colors on this one. It's a little weird how they do that. I don't necessarily agree with that philosophy, but I think they just put them in different stores and they really leaves us guessing. And even I have had to buy almost every color to just to verify that they're the same machine. So um, again, uh, Shark has a brand new stain striker. The Pet, the Hair Pro Pet, this thing's pretty cool. Haven't used it yet, just did the unboxing, but things are starting to be more geared towards pet hair. Um, again, pet hair can kind of cause some problems, but they've got some features on this that are hopefully are gonna trap it, help, help with pet hair. So pretty excited to look for that video coming up soon. Again, I use links. So if you see these products underneath the video in the description, if you click on it, it may take you to Walmart, Amazon, Shark, or Ninja. I'm gonna affiliate with those. And what happens is, is if you click on that link, it takes you to those websites and you can purchase the product. Now, it won't cost you any more to purchase the product using my link, but I will get a small commission from that sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. That way I can continue to do these videos. I really do appreciate everybody's support. Love what I do. Love doing these videos to help consumers just like you. So let me do the homework. And again, if you could hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching. Also, be sure and check out my coffee, Just A Dad Simple Sip Coffee. You can buy it at justadadcoffee.com or underneath the video, there'll be a little pop-up where you can buy it off of my store. That'll take you to justadadcoffee.com. I sell it in the whole bean and the ground coffee and in the K-cup. And I ordered mine about a week ago and that's what I've been using in this espresso machine and I absolutely love it. The beans look a little bit light, but it's a dark to medium roast. I think it tastes really good. I've had iced coffee, regular coffees, and I, I've had espressos. So this coffee, the coffee that I sell does really good with espresso, iced coffee, cold brew coffee, and just regular coffee in this machine. And also other drip coffee makers. So if you're looking for a coffee bean that just works in the brand new Ninja Espresso machine, just a dead simple sip coffee. So if you could give me a follow over on Instagram, and I have two Facebook pages, a Facebook page and a Facebook group page. I really would appreciate a follow. I do free giveaways there and kind of behind the scenes and how things are going. And that's the best way to communicate with me. Uh, my group page, you can leave a post and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can, but that's the best way to ask me questions and to see what's going on with the page. And again, I do use affiliate links. I am an affiliate with Shark and Ninja, Amazon and Walmart. So if one of the links down below, you click on it, it takes you to one of those websites and you end up purchasing the product. The product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. That way I can continue to do these videos that I love. I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the thumbs up button, that really does help out my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe, leave in the comments. Um, if you'd like to see something else reviewed or this compared to something, I look at the comments and I really do appreciate everybody's feedback. So again, if you could please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.